Well, it's our shared planet. Um, people all across the globe live on those, this most marvelous place. And I think the important thing about Earth Day is to remind us how we need to care for the Earth. Uh, we, we make living off, uh, off these places, but as we do it, we need to do it with great thought. So I'm taking the initiative to ban plastic bags here in Lowell. I want more electric vehicles in the downtown area and all throughout Lowell. I would like to see us continue with our complete streets uh, policy, which means more multimodal uses for bicycles and walking. So um, I'm very dedicated to this. Uh, well, Massburg has a few initiatives going on. Uh, right now we're, de we're showing a Save the Bees campaign. We're talking about um, reducing the use of antibiotics because that's become an issue and um, making UMass Lowell a 100% renewable resource using campus. Um, in the future. Just more um, being more mindful of what chemicals we use in our lawns and our gardens, um, thinking of other ways that we can use um, our background lawns. So instead of just having grass, we can have more edible stuff. Um, we can create more climates for birds and animals. Um, so just a ton of little things that we can do, um, even on a small scale, even if you don't actually want to grow stuff that will help the environment. Yeah. So I think the first step is getting educated. So coming to wonderful events like this, uh, on Earth Day to talk to all these vendors and all of these organizations about what you can do. I think a solution would be for people to get involved, to realize that there are things they can do right here in Lowell in their own backyard. It's a matter of taking that first step. That's always the hardest in any journey. I think one of the things that we can do is improve the adoption of solar battery technology, improvements in battery technology are going to make uh, huge changes in how much power we can actually store and use later. Um, but reducing our carbon footprint and fossil fuel utilization is the number one thing we need to do today. We're doing that with our Solarized Mass program. We're taking that program and making solar available and affordable to more people. That's going to lead to the idea being realized that you can have solar, you don't have to use natural gas as a heating fuel. It's a matter of getting one house at a time switched over and we think we can do that. We need to do that. Kids really understand the urgency because it's it's their futures and they're they are the least uh, they are the least involved they contributed least to the problem and they're gonna have to face the consequences more than anybody else so it's so important that we educate young people and that's what one of the things we're doing at the daily middle school with the climate change club